So what to do with all the leftovers? Hey folks, hope everyone's well. I am in my garage today and uh, I thought I'd do some resin projects for you. Um, now I've been toying with this idea for a long time and loads of people have mentioned it on my channel about um, keeping the shavings from some of the projects that I produce. Um, and yes, I have definitely been doing that. We uh, even can go as far back as Alan's pot. Hey, you say Alan? You remember Alan's pot? So um, this is that shavings from that wood. I've kept that for s a quite some time. Um, we've got another project here, which I'm um, not too sure what kind of wood that is. I think it's walnut mixed with, well, a few other woods, as you can see. This one is the uh, shavings from the, um, uh, what was it? The lollipop. Uh, stick pot so lots of different colors in there from the lollipops as you can see that looks quite cool um, this uh, another one this is a shavings from oh, what was this from god you know what I don't even remember that one but that I thought they were quite it's quite a nice wood so I thought I'd keep those and this one you haven't seen yet look at the shavings in that you can guess where they've come from probably be pretty hard but I haven't actually shown you this video yet. But I've made a project using this wood. And um, uh, it's probably due for release in the next sort of couple of weeks. So, uh, or you may have even seen it already. Because this video here may well be going out afterwards. I have no idea when I post my videos. So, um, so we've got lots of different um, shavings left over from projects. And I'll just show you those here. These are the current ones we've got. So, we've got this... Uh, this wood all the way from Australia. Um, this wood, which again, I'm not too sure what it is. Uh, lots of mixtures of different bits of wood, as you can see, but I thought it looked quite nice. Then we've got the um, lollipop one. Can't remember for the life of me what this one is, but this was done a long time ago. And then this one, which you may or may not have seen yet. So the idea is to put some of these and make some blanks out of this with using the resin that I've got um, and uh, we shall knock up some blanks and put them in the pressure pot. We may well just leave them as blanks, not too sure yet, however we shall see. I'm quite excited to see how these re uh, how these blanks are going to turn out so uh, first things first, get some gloves on. Also advisable to get some eye protection. Now I've got these, however, I am going to be using these, although they need a little bit of a clean. There. Just in case any resin may spit up and, you know, you really don't want it in your eyes, so always best to wear protection. So, let's make some blanks.
Okay, so we've done uh, these two now, which is all the colorful ones. We've got a colorful one there, um, and then we've got this colorful one here, which is like purple and reds and blues and things. So what I thought I'd do with this one, next one, which is uh, this one, um, I thought I would mix it up with a little touch of color in there as well, so that you get a little bit of color in there as well as the wood and the red, you know, mixed in with the resin. So I think that might look quite cool. So um, I've got myself a couple of little baby cups and I'm gonna mix up some uh, some colors in there. Not too sure which, which colors yet, but we'll figure that out as we go along. So we finished and uh, they're looking pretty cool actually. So uh, I'll just show you these. So there's our um, blanks in uh, the uh, shavings, the wood shavings. So we've got the uh, purple one and mixed blues and stuff in there. Uh, we've got uh, mixed up some different color resin in here. So we put green and blue in there. Then we mix up some black and pink in this one. And uh, this one's just clear resin, but it's got lots of colors in it anyway. So, quite excited to see how these are going to come out, so we're going to stick these in the pressure pot and leave them overnight. All the colours that I used in these are also from resin for art so um, if you uh, wanted to check, out, check them out, they're in the UK, I'll leave the link below. Okay, so these are uh, all out of the uh, pressure pot now, so I'm just going to get these out and see what they're like. Should be nice and easy to get out, look at that. Whoa, look at that. That actually looks pretty cool. I'm going to clean this up and then uh, see what we've got. Just clean it up on the top, I think, really. Well, it doesn't really need a lot of cleaning up to be fair. We can see what it's, what it kind of looks like, don't we? Let's try this one. That's pretty cool. Come out really nice. Let's drop out. This is the one with the uh, we put in here red, didn't we? Pink, pink, and something. That looks quite cool. That's quite nice. I reckon that'd be a nice little blank. The last one. Yeah, it just dropped out. Oh, look at that. That looks lovely. I reckon that'd be really nice.
So here they are, the blanks, uh, after they come out of the pressure pot, I just cleaned them up a little bit just to show you a little bit better. Um, so I've just run them in the sander. Um, but you can see there all the purple, sort of come out purple in there now because we've mixed up some pink and blue, or red and blue. And you can just see in there, you can see how that's going to look um, with all the wood in there. I can't remember now what wood I put in there, but I can go back to the video and check. Um, so that one looks quite nice. That might make quite a nice little blank for a little pot or something. And then we've got this one. That looks really nice. I'm actually quite excited about this one. This is the one with the... Uh, the lollipop sticks, um, so there's tons and tons of uh, little colours in there, that might look quite nice when that's done. Uh, then we've got um, this one, which is the pot that you with the shavings in it that you haven't seen yet, or you may have seen. Um, lots of purples and blues, you can just about make that out in there, can you see that? Just about make that out, I think. But that looks really quite cool. Um, don't know what that would be, maybe... Hmm, bit too tiny for a small bowl, but um, we could probably incorporate that into maybe another piece and see if we see if we can do that. Uh, and then this one, actually, actually, I'm going to change my mind. I think this one's my favourite with all the green in it, and that looks really nice. So it's got all the green, blue in it, and uh, that might come out really well. So um, there's a mixture there. So lots of wood shavings, um, lots of wood shavings, all mixed around uh, with loads of resin and different colours. It's quite good actually, I really quite like doing that. So um, now I'm not too sure whether I'm going to print, print? Too sure whether I'm going to turn one of these. Now obviously I'm not going to turn all four of these for you. Um, I think what we do is we pick one, uh, we turn one and then obviously what we'll probably do is either save the others for another rainy day or may well pop some of them up on my website if anyone's interested in, in maybe taking the challenge on. And, and trying to make something from one of these. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we may, I don't know, that we may go with the greeny blue one, because I do like that, and maybe leave the others. But I'll have a think. 